In 1895, my birth was more than just a simple beginning of life. It was a bold proclamation, a harbinger of the fate that was to unfold. I made my entrance into the world not within the clinical boundaries of a hospital but in a leased cottage in Sosoniki during a late spring day. My father, a man of intellect, named me Emmanuel, drawing inspiration from a verse in the seventh chapter of Isaiah. He foresaw a monumental destiny for me, one deeply entwined with the sorrowful history our lineage. It was a time of both despair and hope, and my father, a devoted Jew, nurtured a dream for our national resurgence. During my early years, my father would often take me through the passages of Isaiah, underlining the significance of my name. He instilled in me a deep faith and a sense of responsibility he believed I was destined to bear. The historical events surrounding my birth seemed to herald the path my life would take. In the same year, Theodore Herzl, influenced by the Dreyfus trial, began his journey towards reconnecting with his Jewish roots. On June 10th, the day I was born, Herzl wrote about his determination to lead our people to the Promised Land. In Paris, he also started writing his political manifesto, The Jewish State. Meanwhile, Sigmund Freud, who had published the first paper on psychoanalysis two years prior, embarked on his groundbreaking work, Interpretation of Dreams. 1895 was also a landmark year in the scientific world. Wilhelm Röntgen discovered X-rays, Antoine Henri Becquerel detected radioactivity, and the Curies discovered radium. These breakthroughs signaled a shift in our understanding of the universe, challenging the old mechanistic philosophy of the world. Thus, the year of my birth was not merely the start of my personal journey, but a convergence of historical and intellectual currents. These currents, unbeknownst to me then, would shape my life in ways unimaginable, guiding me through the tides of time and history.